Hey y'all, I hope you can hear me okay. There's quite a bit of noise outside where I'm currently at, but I'm using my AirPods, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I'm just, I'm coming back with a really quick word that God's been um, stirring in my spirit the past like three or four days, and it is pertaining to this upcoming Sunday. This is um, a rhema word for whoever it's for right now. And then in the future, he's saying that this is going to apply to whoever it applies to in his perfect timing. But this is a rhema word for someone um, or maybe even a few people regarding this upcoming Sunday. And today is January 12th, 2023. So it's a Thursday. Um, this upcoming Sunday is going to be the 15th. Um, and so basically it is that something that you have been trusting God for, something you've been waiting for, news that you've been waiting for, something that you perceived as dead in the physical is about to be resurrected um, for you in your life this upcoming Sunday. You are going to see physical manifestation of this dead thing, um, or you thought this thing was dead, being brought back to life for you by the hand of God. God confirmed this to me through multiple people um, and it was just them mentioning Sunday. It started when I was watching something on TV and then I was watching some videos on YouTube and it's like a random regular day out of the week but for some reason whenever this day was mentioned and it was mentioned like five times, God had highlighted this day to me. Um, and I knew it was him because it was so, it's like they could have mentioned any other day of the week and I'm sure that they did. And like this, this TV show that I'm watching, but for some reason, like Sunday was standing out to me. And so, um, you know, I brought it to him and he was just downloading this in my spirit. Now he did give me scripture and um, the scripture that he gave me was Luke 24. He brought to my mind, um, in order to give me the scripture for this word, he brought to my mind, um, Jesus resurrecting on Sunday and um, at first I wasn't sure if this word was going to have scripture that applied to it but he gave it to me um, not too long ago earlier today and he wants me to read Luke 24 verses 1 through 7 um, and this is the King James version that he wanted me to read to you guys specifically now upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came unto the sepulchre bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus and it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout behold two men stood by them in shining garments and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead he is not here but is risen remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in galilee saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again and when i was reading that last part in particular god highlighted to me that for some of you that this word is for whether now or um in the future regarding sunday and something in your life that has been dead being resurrected he's saying that um for some of you in particular there is something that's taken place on thursday um in your life and or there's something that's going to take place on a Thursday and um, this is going to be a sign for you. Something huge, he's saying, has taken place in your life um, around that time and it's going to be, thank you Holy Spirit, it's going to be resurrected over the weekend. I was not sure where he was going with that. Um, he's emphasizing that there is something that took place or that's going to take place um, in your life towards the end of the week and it's going to be resurrected over the weekend. You are going to see him bring that situation back. He's gonna work it out in your favor over the weekend. Of course, take this word back to God um, for further revelation and insight, but for this particular word, he's saying that your confirmation of this is going to be it coming to pass in your life. This is one of those sudden, thank you Holy Spirit, he's saying this is one of those suddenly, suddenly things. And, um, and today, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow. Okay, today's literally Thursday. I didn't even, 
that didn't even register in my mind um so this is really wow okay now i understand why he needed me to release this today so for someone there's something that's going to take place today or has happened today um and he is saying do not fret over that situation do not stress out over that situation he's going to work it out in your favor over the weekend okay um thank you holy spirit and he's saying your job right now whenever you end up seeing this is not to worry is not to stress you are to surrender that situation to him walk in your authority decree and declare that that situation is going to be turned around in your favor and then watch him do it for you okay and he's saying make sure that you share your testimony as he leads you to um because he's saying you're about to see how quickly this prayer is going to be answered and you're going to see, um, you're going to be reminded of why it's so important that you speak life over yourself and you speak life over the situations and the circumstances that you may find yourself facing at any given time. There's nothing too hard for God to fix. There's nothing too hard for God to work in your favor for your good, for his glory. All right, and then one more tidbit that he wants me to add. Um, he needed me to look up the biblical meaning of the number 15 because Sunday is the 15th, or at least this Sunday is the 15th, right? Um, and this applies to those of you who this word is for right now, applying to this Sunday, January the 15th, 2023, okay? Um, the number 15, um, it means to do good. Okay, um, the Greek word for this is, and this is in Strong's Concordance, okay, I'm going to try my hardest to pronounce this, it is agathopoi, agathopoi eo, okay, <laughs> um, and it is intrinsically good properly, to do properly, to do what is inherently good, i.e. inspired and powered by God, okay, doing what is right, um, to do what is right, so all of that goes into the meaning, the biblical meaning of the number 15, which goes hand in hand with what God is doing for you in whatever situation you may find yourself facing, and something that God is bringing to my attention right now is that those of you who the word is for pertaining to this upcoming Sunday, um, whatever it is that he's saying not all of you that this word is for, not all of you have a situation where something happened or will happen today on Thursday. Um, oh my gosh, what's today? On the 12th. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So he's saying that there are things that took place in your past. There are things that took place weeks ago, months ago, years ago. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are going to see um, rectified and turned around. Thank you, Holy Spirit, made right this weekend. Thank you, God. You are going to see a turnaround in that situation over this weekend. And Sunday, um, he's saying it could be, thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> he's saying some of you are going to witness this tomorrow on Friday. Some of you are going to witness this on the Sabbath. And then some of you are going to witness this on Sunday, the 15th. So he is saying, um, keep an eye out. Pay attention to what he's showing you. Pay attention to what he's trying to tell you and speak to you through the people around you, the things around you, your environment, your surroundings. He's saying don't brush anything off as mere coincidence because nothing is a coincidence with God. And he's saying however he is um, putting on your heart to prepare, you need to be preparing. Whatever he's putting on your heart to um, refrain from sharing with others, you need to make sure that you're being obedient in that regard as well. He's saying that in this situation that he is turning around in your favor over this weekend, um, you have done all that you can do. You have done all that he has told you to do to... Um, to do the work necessary on your end, whether that, that meant taking leaps of faith, whether that meant preparing in faith, whether that meant um, saying what you needed to say, doing what you needed to do, going where you needed to go. So he's highlighting that you've done all that you can do and now all you need to do is put your faith in him. Do not allow the enemy to um, 
lure you into negative thinking, into woe is me mindset, into obsessing over what you literally can't control. He's saying, give it to him, put it in his hands, receive this word. Of course, take it back to him for confirmation because some of you, this is not going to happen this weekend, but this is something you can look forward to in the future. And he said, thank you, Holy Spirit. He's going to bring this word back around to you um, in the future when it is time for you. And he's allowing you to come across it now to give you further faith, um, to strengthen your faith, to give you further encouragement, okay? So make sure that you take this to him because you don't want to be expecting something that he's not meant for you to expect just yet, okay? Um yes i believe that is all that's it i know i didn't introduce myself at the very beginning of the video i apologize for that for those of you who are new to the channel and you are not aware of who i am my name is diani neves i'm a christian blogger influencer mentor and mouthpiece for the lord which means that i share the prophetic messages he gives me for all of my brothers and sisters in christ i know that's a mouthful but there you have it um that is all I have for you guys today. Just a super quick rhema word for those of you who it's for right now and for those of you who it's for later on down the road in God's perfect timing. I love you. Remember that God loves you so much more and I will see you in my next video. Bye.